ladies and gentlemen, please welcome Kia Vice President of Marketing Communications, Saad Shahab. Good morning. How's everybody doing? Now this video you just saw is one of the cool new ways that we've been talking about Kia in the future. And we have a lot of fun stuff to share with you this morning. But before I start, I'd like to share um, a new and a special introduction of one of our special guests uh, here with us today, uh, President and CEO of Kia Motors America, Mr. Justin Sohn. Thank you. Thank you. It's been a very special year for us at Kia and a lot to be proud of. And let me just share with you how special this is. We're talking about, we're launching, we launched five cars, all new vehicles, including the Nero this year. We've added our first ever plug-in with the stunning Optima PHEV. We proved that small can do big things with the all new Rio and Rio 5 door. And we shocked the world with the Stinger, which is arriving right now at showrooms as we speak. And speaking of shocking the world, yesterday the Stinger, this is incredible, was named the finalist for the North American Car of the Year, a first for Kia, and a truly historic moment for the brand. Thank you. I'm getting the chills. But that's not all. Very importantly, we've ranked number one in initial quality for the second year in a row. And with Cadenza earning the best score among all models ranked in IQS study, the Nero was recently named the most reliable vehicle in the United States. I want to say that again. The Nero was named the most reliable vehicle in the United States. Was that something to be proud of? And the soul, our hero of the brand, is car drivers 10 best for the second year in a row. And cars.com, let me just say this, cars.com recently named this car right here, this orange beauty, this stinger, best in show at SEMA. I could go on and on and on for so many things we're so happy about. But we have to say, it's extremely, extremely exciting for myself to climb on board this amazing brand at a time when this youthful company was stacked with so many great products, and I'm honored to be here at Kia. Kia's time, ladies and gentlemen, has come, and it's right now. Kia has arrived, and we're going to have a lot of fun telling our worlds and our stories in this way. So there you were, owning the landscape. The freedom of knowing that you were out in front. But what didn't occur to you is that while you were basking in old glories, we were forging a new path. You thought you were out there all alone. And then one day, there we were. How odd it must have felt to suddenly find us. A little bigger, a little closer. And then this happened. And then this. And then this, this, this we're talking about is the Stinger. That's also a, a nice little uh, um, a kind of a teaser that we had in this ad. Um, so let's talk about the Stinger. This is what everybody wants to talk about right now. I mean, look at this thing. We're talking about rear wheel drive, twin turbos, Brembo brakes, Gran Turismo sport back styling utility, designed in Frankfurt, and developed on the Nürburgring. With top speed of 167 miles an hour, 4.70 to 60, this is faster than a Porsche Panamera, 
faster than a BMW 6 Series, faster than an Audi A7. It has the looks that I think crushes all three. Don't we think? What do we think? It's incredible. And with this thing, we're going to have a lot of new things and in new ways, our own ways to do things, such as opening salons and shopping centers for the Stinger, for folks to check it out on a closer view and a, a great easygoing um, um, activities around the car at these uh, salons. So see, these several locations have already opened, and we'll be having a lot of great uh, take on them. So we'll see what happens. Kia has a GT, ladies and gentlemen, that has rocked the runways on fashion shows and wowed the crowds on high-performance tracks. I love these dances. Now, did you know we ran more than 800 drifting exhibitions at SEMA? More than 800 drifting exhibitions at SEMA without a single mechanical problem. Not one mechanical problem. Ladies and gentlemen, this is not a race car that we were drifting with. This is a stock car, not a rally race car. This is a stock car that ran 800 drifting exhibitions for a few days without a single problem. The sticker kept going on and over and over and over again without one issue. So yeah, we're pretty stoked about this thing here. And so many others like this gentleman. We're talking about Mr. Emerson Fittipaldi, who came by to check out the Stinger. And when he got out of the car, he smiled and told me, I am so happy to see Kia taking on performance in such a huge way. I love its looks, and more importantly, I love the way it drives. Now, this is a Formula One and Indy 500 champion talking about Kia this way. Is this like the coolest thing? Unbelievable. And it's a sample of how, we are, how, how we're making a huge mark, even on the pros. Now let's switch gears for a minute. From high octane performance to high energy efficiency. The EcoDynamic lineup you see here on my left underscores our commitment to clean, high efficiency, eco-friendly, well-built, and beautiful to look at. And to prove that point, Here's our newest addition, the 2018 Nero PHEV. With its great looks, impressive utility, efficient performance, this thing delivers both pure electric daily driving and astounding range. I'm talking about 26 miles of pure driving, uh, uh, driving with zero emission. Together with the gas engine, you're looking at 560 miles of total range. Ladies and gentlemen, whether it's a PHEV like the Nero or the 2018 Soul EV, which now, by the way, delivers 111 miles of range, or the future hybrids and fuel cell models coming up, our clean mobility efforts will yield 14 electric vehicles globally by 2020. With 10 of them, with 10 of them are going to be coming to our shores in the United States. Kia's drive towards greener world also includes efficiency with our internal combustion engines, which includes our launch of the first ever diesel Sorento coming in the near future. And speaking of Sorento, here's another storyline for you this morning. Sorento is our best-selling SUV, and for a good reason. It's rugged, yet refined, practical, and sporty. And dear to us, the Sorento is proudly made in Georgia. In the last May, Kia rolled its one million Sorento off the line in West Point since its production began in 2009. And Kia is so important to this region. In fact, the plant has co-founded a college and a career academy for high school students to serve growing need for qualified workers in the area. Was that a great story or what? What do we think? Very proud of this story. We're very proud of our team members that have continued to build top quality products and thankful to the West Point community for allowing us to participate 
and their family's future. We expect KMMG to be very busy in the months and years ahead as they roll out the next vehicle you're about to see. And for more on that, please welcome Vice President, my friend, Product Planning Head, Orth Hendrick. Wow, what a presentation. Good morning. Uh, to Saad's point, today the folks in West Point are already building our next success story. Ladies and gentlemen, presenting the new 2019 Sorrento. The new 2019 Sorrento, hugely refined, incredibly rugged, with class-leading roominess, and now with standard seven-passenger, three-row seating on every trim level. We've taken everything great about our flagship SUV and made it even better. On the outside, you'll notice the Sorrento is restyled. It's tighter, it's sharper. The new front clip incorporates a more articulated tiger nose grille, flanked by thinner and more aggressive headlights. The same goes for the rear, a redesigned tailgate, new tail lamps, and new muffler tips. And as you come around to the side, we have new wheel designs with sizes ranging from 17 inch up to 19 inch. On the inside, the design elements to physical touch points, we looked at everything and made changes to the most important parts of Sorrento to make them even more upscale and also more purposeful. We changed the instrument cluster, the air vents, and the center console design, and even gave the steering wheel and shifter knob a high-end makeover. The 2019 Sorrento comes with unexpected creature comforts and cargo versatility, as you can see here enough to customize settings to satisfy even the most fidgety passengers. The 2019 Sorento is one tech-savvy SUV. In fact, it's loaded with a next-level technology, including an upgraded navigation system with available Android Auto and Apple CarPlay. If you have an Android or Apple iPhone 8 or 10, you can leave a charging cord at home, thanks to an available wireless charging tray. Next Level Technology also extends to safety features, including our new Lane Keep Assist that alerts the driver and even steers the vehicles should it come into a situation where it's drifting out of the lane. As you can see, when it comes to safety, it's simple. Kia delivers. One of the biggest Sorrento changes for 2019 is our in-house designed eight-speed automatic transmission, which is offered with a powerful 3.3 liter V6 engine. Now this is the same transmission that's found in our Cadenza Premium Sedan. The result is a smoother driving experience, improved efficiency while still retaining its 5,000 pound towing capacity. Now you probably won't see too many Cadenzas off-roading on wicked terrain, but we thought with that new transmission and a highly capable all-wheel drive system, can the new Sorento pass the ultimate off-road test? To find out, we sent a team out on a mission. We said, find us the most brutal course and see what you can do. Here's what they found. <laughs> they literally went to hell and back to put our baby through the paces. Check it out. in Moab, Utah, and we're about to run one of the most intimidating trails here, Hell's Revenge. But we're gonna do it in a vehicle you would never expect. So the only modifications we're making are to add a set of all-terrain tires, a skid plate under the oil pan, and to disconnect the sway bars at Hell's Gate. Is that a tire off the ground? That yeah, is. Oh. Need to give a little bit more momentum there. I think there went the bumper. And here we are at the entrance to the gates of hell. And we're supposed to be going up there? <laughs> oh, 
We're going. Holy shit, this is insane. Heck yeah, <laughs> we did it, no? <laughs> amazing, amazing. Well, by the way, the lawyers wanted me to remind you. These stunts were performed by professional driver on close course, do not attempt. <laughs> Don't even bother trying anyway. The permits to get, uh, to, get to those places, it's like going to hell. No wonder why they call it hell's revenge. That Sorrento, by the way, not only made it out in one piece, it survived the LA traffic and joined us here. Here it is. All right. Ladies and gentlemen, there it is. It is all oh, its glories, our hero. Um, I, I, uh, I wanted that Moab crushing Sorrento to be up here on stage, but the team overruled. And now we have a shiny one on the stage instead. Uh, but it doesn't matter whether it's Moab or Valets of West Hollywood. We have a tough and elegant SUV for you. Let's bookend this presentation this way. Think about how far we've traveled in such short period of time. We are the youngest mainstream car company in the United States since 1994. Think about Kia ranking number one in initial quality two years in a row. Think about Kia being named the most reliable vehicle in America in its first model year. It is unheard of. Think about the Stinger beating Porsche. I want to say that again. Think about Stinger beating Porsche and roasting dozens of tires at SEMA. Think about Kia offering green vehicles that you would not only be proud, be proud to own, but also to look at. Think about Kia reaching new heights in Moab. Ladies and gentlemen, if you allow me, Kia has stung the industry, and there's much more ahead. Please come to Detroit. We'll see you soon. Thank you very much for coming. <laughs>